obviously the last couple of weeks haven't been great for us. Uh, last four games we've got two points from, so we know that the points haven't been coming. So definitely raring to go in the next game. Um, probably a good time that we're getting the MLS uh, break, but at the same time we're still switched on and trying to make a good run in this Open Cup and trying to go all the way to the final again. You know, we got a long trip across the country to clear our heads a little bit, but yeah, I mean, anytime, you know, it's a new tournament, it's a whole new different ball game. So yeah, anytime you get a chance to redeem yourself, we're obviously looking forward to it. Difficult conditions on turf, it's going to be extremely hot. Uh, I think it's actually going to be raining there. Um, small stadium, seats 5,000 people, it's re really intimate and their fans are, are into it. Uh, on top of that, they have a very good coach with Eric Winalda uh, and some very dynamic players going forward. With that being said, um, we feel like it's a good matchup for us uh, because they want to come out and they want to they want to be offensive at home uh, and we feel that we can maybe get at them on the other end. It's a tough place to go to. The Atlanta players will be they'll be raring to go obviously anytime an NASL team plays the MLS team they're always raring to go always trying to have that great game so they can maybe make the step up as well to this league so definitely it's going to be difficult for us but same time, we've got uh, a lot of players that are going to be playing in the game that um, need to prove themselves and show the, the credibility for the team. So definitely looking forward to it and definitely going to get a result down there. I know from first-hand experience that I've been on the other side of this where I was the lower division team trying to beat the big guys. So I know that they're going to be really hungry and they're going to throw everything at us. And, you know, um, they didn't have a great spring season, but this is the game that if they win this game, then it doesn't really matter. So uh, we know it's going to be a difficult challenge, and, you know, I think uh, the guys that we have going are going to be ready for it. We always want to have the, the same mindset of coming out and, and looking to get the win, obviously. Um, but we do have to be mindful of some of the things, you know, with uh, all of our travel, with the heat. Uh, you know, usually at home you can come out and press and, and really impose your will. Um, but against Atlanta, you have to be a little bit careful about, um, you know, the conditions. We've got a lot of national team call-ups, injuries, so we're a little bit thin. And we can't put everything out in the first 15 minutes and not have anything for the rest of the game. I mean, uh, you look back last year, we went to overtime against these guys. The longer they go and the other team's still in it, then the more belief they're going to get and feel like that they could uh, capitalise on and win the game. So we've definitely got to approach the game with the right mentality, start off um, all guns blazing, try and kill the game off um, as quickly as we can and uh, just have a really good professional performance and take care of business. You know, even if you look at the results last night, uh, PDL team won nothing to Houston. They played with 10 men the whole game. The PDL team did and it was only one nothing. And uh, Sacramento, same thing, uh, lost 2-1 to San Jose. So it's important that we come out with the right mentality and uh, you know, we don't want to let them get on the front foot to start because then you know, we've seen teams do it before. They can bunker, they can play real defensive. So we've got to come out from the first, first whistle, come out firing so that they know that we're here to play.